Hello everyone. That was weird. Wee. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very echoey future closet room. <laughs> So as you guys may or may not know, we have just recently moved into a new home and we're going to slowly but surely be picking away at the rooms and completing them and obviously updating you on the YouTube as we go. My current project is going to be a little DIY project, which is something that I don't do <laughs> too often. Me and DIY are not best friends. I often ruin many of things and uh, I usually like to leave it to the professionals. However, today there were two items that I wanted to do, just a tiny little tweaking, a little DIY decor moment to help me get closer to the completion of the closet room. So I'm gonna take you along with me. We're gonna play with some paint. We're gonna experiment with some DIY decor and I'm gonna bring you along and vlog the journey. How exciting. So we've got two pieces here that we're gonna be DIYing today. First is this gorgeous vase. This is a vase that I had from Urban Barn in the old living room setup. And um, <laughs> if you missed the pan pass, the pom pass, the pom, uh, the pan pass, I can't say it. This dead plant. <laughs> if you missed that fun and exciting journey on Instagram, I apologize, but I ordered some of this grass and uh, it was incredibly lackluster. Anyway, my goal for this is to do the very Desi Perkins Pinterest-esque baking soda painting moment. I want this to be a really beautiful sand colored creamy vase. I want to brighten up. It's almost like, like an army cargo grainy moment. It's not just completely gray. There's like bits of green, bits of brown, some blue tones in there. And while that is lovely, your girl is much more on the creamy vibe train. So that's what we're gonna try and do today to the vase. And we should probably consider getting some more grass to go in there. <laughs> Second up on the DIY train, I bought a clothing rack. I really feel like a clothing rack is necessary. I was not able to find a beautiful like gold or antique brass clothing rack anywhere. So I decided to take matters into my own paws and paint one. So I bought this incredibly cheap, I can't remember if it was 15 or $20. Or we'll put it on the screen here. This is the Mulig, Mulig clothing rack from Ikea and it's white. And I'm gonna try and find some metal spray paint and to spray paint it into the glory that I know she can be. And that way I can have a clothing rack sitting right here, here along this wall and I like the idea of having a clothing rack. I like to plan out my outfits. If I'm filming a video, I like to set all my things out. And sometimes it's just nice to have a little look-see at what's in your closet. So the clothing rack I'm very excited to have here. Eventually we'll have a glorious mirror here in this corner, but she has not arrived yet. So until then, we'll set up the vase, we'll set up the clothing rack, and let us, my friends, head out to buy supplies to commence this DIY adventure. changed into my painting pants, AKA the pants that have turned purple from Merrell's drool and miscellaneous other things. So how about a Home Depot haul? I thought I had bought one gold, uh, but now I realize I haven't. And now instead I have three satin bronze and apparently the lid, according to the kind man at Home Depot, the lid shows exactly what it's gonna look like on the metal. So, um, yeah, I thought I had bought two satin bronze and one gold, but apparently we have three satin bronze and that's what we're gonna be spraying the clothing rack with. Good, good, good. Paint brushes. And then I did not know that you could just get little mini samples of paint, but I didn't wanna buy a big giant can of paint because it's a small vase, but these were only $4 each, which is incredible. Um, so I got these two colors to creamy beige, one lighter, one deeper for the vase. We're gonna see if we can get a little mixy here. I like the lighter one, 
but I might want a little bit of mix and freaky action. So those are the two little mini cans of paint I got. And then I grabbed the baking soda to mix it in because apparently this is gonna make it look magical and clay and clay-like and textured. I got a paint tray and also a tarp because I can't be trusted with spray paint and white walls. So I got the tarp for safety. And with that, my friends, let us begin. So for a plan of action, I think what I'm gonna do is actually spray paint the pieces before building it. The spray paint paint has to sit for 30 minutes in between each coat. So I'm hoping to do like the initial spray and then we can head on to painting the vase. I've got the clip in, we are ready to paint. Or, 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 or spray paint for now. <laughs> Okay, I've just sprayed on the first coat. I realized, I, I hadn't actually thought this through and I need to do like one side weight and then flip them and I might have to do that like two more times for the full coat. So I, as per usual, did not follow the instructions explicitly. It said to do light coats and that would be better, but I was like, I'm just gonna pile it on. <laughs> so this is the first coat that we have. All the pieces are laid out. I'll leave it for 30 minutes until it's dry to the touch, and then I'll flip it and do another coat. While that is drying, let's get to the vase. I was gonna say the first coat, but I think this might be all she needs. But I ended up just using the one color, the darker paint. This is the bare in base wood. Base wood. Oh, I just I just got it all in my hands. Anyway, she's looking pretty great. Here is the vase in all her glory. Look at that fresh coat of beautiful paint. Basically, I, I like painted it, and then I was just kind of taking the brush and just like stabbing it and stippling it on so you can see that like the baking soda and the stippling kind of gives it a little bit of a, a textured feel so i'm gonna let this dry and we'll see how it looks but so far i'm so happy with this color she's beautiful she's reborn rebirthed i kind of want to find other things to paint in this color it's such a perfect creamy creamy beige Mm. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me the DIY hacks and also it was so funny because the day I posted that on Instagram was the day that Desi Perkins had done this exact hack baking soda paint moment on her stories and thanks to everyone who sent me her story so um, I'm gonna leave the vase to dry we'll see how it turns out I might have to do another layer another coat but so far it looks so good so far so good and then i'll do the next layer of the spray paint <laughs> are we craft masters <laughs> erected uh, I put the screws in and what I'm gonna do now is spray paint them so that it matches there's not like a silver sticking out and honestly considering that they were all laying flat it's not too bad like the front is fine but the back can you see me how can I focus in on this the back however is is quite a different story <laughs> I picked it up and it like all flaked off so I might just do like one more layer across here and then i'll just do a couple of touch-ups just where some fell off here but otherwise honestly guys it's so cute the color turned out so nice it's such a nice well you know satin bronze okay and here's an update on the vase it's dried down i feel like i, I could have added more baking soda it's not as textured as it could have been but I still think 
for one coat. It just looks so good. This is such an upgrade from what the vase was before and it's pretty even around the sides. I don't even think I'm gonna go in with a second coat, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks amazing. That color of paint was so, it was perfect. I am so thrilled with how this DIY has gone. I need to DIY more often. This is a blast. And now that I have uh, three cans of this satin bronze, maybe I'll just go bronze up and creamy beige paint my entire house. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add the last layer onto the clothing rack and then I'm just gonna let this like dry and set in overnight before I take it off of the tarp. And then I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow when it's all dry and I'll put everything away. Blah! Hello! <laughs> it is the next day. The angels have been left to dry overnight. I am officially going to remove the tarp from the bottom of the clothing rack and we're gonna set it up and see how it looks. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> you guys, it turned out so well. I am the happiest little peach alive right now. Look at how pretty they are together. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so the plan here is this is gonna exist. That might be here and then I'm getting a mirror to just sit in this corner or on this wall. Ideally it would like be in the corner to just cover the outlets. And this is gonna be the little nook in here you guys. This is the after. Listen, my handiwork is not the best. <laughs> there were some parts where, you know, I just like sprayed a little bit extra hard. Actually, I think this is the wrong side. Hold on. There we go. This is the side without the lumps. <laughs> Honestly, like it'd be, you'd have to look pretty close to see the parts where I just like went really spray heavy, but all in all, it turned out pretty dang okay. As for the vase, this is the finished product. We had a we had a rogue brush hair here. <laughs> That's okay. It it gives it character, right? I think I could stand to put a little bit more like on the inside just to make this smooth. But, you know, hopefully there will be actual bundles of things in here covering that. And otherwise, I'm so happy with the color. The colors are exactly what I wanted. Okay, this wasn't even intentional, but I just realized that the legs on my little West Elm desk that are in here almost completely match the satin bronze of the clothing rack. <laughs> That means maybe I can use it to fix these scuffs. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for my first little DIY adventure. I'm so happy with how these two pieces turned out, and I can't wait to show you the finished closet room once everything else arrives. In the meantime, if there's anything else you'd wanna see me DIY, if you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, and let me know any other DIY or home decor videos that you wanna see from me in the comments down below. You guys, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I really hope that you enjoyed this, and if you do anything like this, if you're doing any vase painting or spray painting, or if you have any other DIY ideas, Send them to me. I am at Alanorama everywhere. I want to see your guys' pics. I want to see what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and I'll see you all very soon for a new one. Bye!